In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six option infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have put the headline here. When I click, it will show you the six option in the hexagon shape. You can add the title, the icon and some detailed text. And if you want, you can add some shadow effect also. And one more slide I have created uh, without the gradient fill. You can see here, this is the title one. When I click, it will show you the title one after the other and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the shape hexagon just click it here and then I'm going to make the height as 2.16 and the width as 2.49. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then right mouse click, go to the format shape. I'm going to make it somewhat transparent. And you can see the small orange point, just drag it a little bit inside. Okay, something like this. Then align center, align middle. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Again, this rectangle also, you can make it somewhat transparent and give some different color shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to place exactly on top of this one. Let me just zoom in. You can see here exactly. I'm going to place it on top of this hexagon and then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle again. And this one also I'm going to make it somewhat transparent. And then from the corner, I'm just going to rotate it and this part, I'm going to cut it. Okay. So let me just select this shape, hold the shift key, select the, this blue rectangle, go to the more shape and subtract. So I end up getting a shape, something like this. Now duplicate this by pressing control D. You can see here, then hold the alt and the right arrow key. Maybe three times we need to click maybe one more time. So four times alt and the four times right arrow key okay so you can see here i'm just going to place it on each of these corners i'm going to place this one now again press ctrl d to duplicate and alt one two three four four times okay and then i'm going to place it here and make sure that this not overlaps onto the hexagon if this is overlapping that is not a problem so now let me just do it once again for the bottom one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Again, Alt 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let me just put it again here. It's better to zoom and then do the work. Okay. All right. You can see here. And this also, let me just align it properly. And I hope this one I have done perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So then let me just do remaining two press ctrl d to duplicate one two three and four alt and right mouse click four times okay let me just zoom in again and align it properly the last one press ctrl d alt one two three four and let me just put it here now you can see here all right so it's done so now the next thing which i'm going to do is right mouse click and duplicate the slide if something goes wrong we have the backup slide so let me just go back to the slide i don't need this one i can simply delete this part and all these shapes what i'm going to do is i'm going to select and make it more no transparent at all so it looks like this now depending on the requirement you can just change the color either you can give a gradient fill or you can give any solid color also for example if i give a solid color like this i'm just giving some random colors so you can just give your own color combination all right you can see here i'm just giving some uh, different color combinations to it but it's better if you give a combination which makes of gradient fill okay and maybe i'm going to give this color now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and then send to back okay then select this one make it send to back 
again send two back one by one you need to send and this one the moment you send two back this one what happens here is this will come on top so the best thing is to cut this part okay so to cut this part i'm going to select this one and press ctrl d to duplicate somewhat make it transparent and again exactly put it on top of this then select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract okay so it's look perfectly all right now so once this is done you can go and insert some icons go to the insert icons and choose six different icons depending on the requirement again i'm going to select some random icons here okay so five and six and click on insert move it here make the height and width as 0.6 and color i'm going to fill this as white and then now place each option on top of this rectangle shape you can see here i'm just going to drag and drop like this okay and then you can go to the insert text box you can add title 01 again make it white i'm going to choose the open sans extra bold and put it here write a line and that's it you can see here again control d to duplicate here again alt and the right arrow key four times you can just select and then put the title control d let me just select this one and alt and i'm going to rotate it and make sure that this is properly aligned here also all right so like this you can just align one by one and then put it here okay again if you want the title outside you can put the title outside also that is also it's okay not a problem with that and then the last one i will rotate it and i'm going to put it here right align and that's it so you can see here we have added the titles we have added the icons you can insert one headline in the center you can see here make it a gray color center align and headline sorry let me just headline all right and then put it in the center if you want you can increase the size and if you want you can insert some detailed text outside so equals lorem within bracket one and then i'm going to delete the unwanted text i don't want this much large text and then open sans i'm just going to choose open sans only gray color reduce the font size align it and put it control d this is for the second option control d again this one comes here control d it will come here you can see here maybe this can be a right align control d again for this option so you can see here we have completed this particular design now it's time to group it and do some basic animation so i'm going to choose one by one you can see here by holding the shift key control g to group it select this one control g you can see here control g even if it comes out doesn't matter sorry let me just undo this part and control g you can see here one by one i'm doing the control g okay and again as i said this one you need to send to back this is again send to back and this is also send to back 
and here this also send to back all right so you can see here the design is completed and again if you want some basic animation you can choose so i'm going to the animations and i'm going to choose one after the other animation so i'm going to choose this title one again which animation which you feel better for example i can just go and select maybe a basic zoom it comes like this okay enable the animation pane and then the text comes for the text i'm going to use it uh, stretch click ok stretch from left and this should happen after previous so now let me just select one option click on this one again this animation i'm going to copy it here again this one comes here don't forget to change the option numbers here okay i forgot to do that one but we can do it later also so again you can see here one by one i'm going to make it now this one i'm going to make it from right so just copy the animation select this one click on this again this one click on this and then here all right so let's play headline the first comes second third fourth fifth and sixth so depending on the requirement you can change the animation if you want